What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, reviewing today Life is Strange Episode 2, Out of Time. Life is Strange is a story that had a really good start. In Episode 1 we learned about Max, her strange power to control time, and her tough position of wanting to save her town while also mending ties with old friends. Episode 2 though really seems to be trying a lot harder to be edgy and important for some reason. They attempt to tackle issues of sexual abuse, suicide, bullying, and even a flawed balance of power at the school itself, but in the end we just end up with a blurry mess. Chloe and Max are still fantastic, and they really grow in this episode as characters. They seem determined to figure out exactly how our time travel works, and in a more realistic way, crazy Google searches, lots of sticky notes, and a few Einstein jokes, all trying to figure out exactly what makes time tick and how she's able to avoid that. Seeing how they talk, how they interact and deal with issues makes you understand the daily struggles young people face. Sadly, the deep storytelling really ends there. Everyone else in this world seems to be a bad cartoon. Evil security guards, principals taking bribes, rich kids threatening people with lawyers. You honestly can't take anything in this story seriously because it's just all so fake and two-dimensional. Another major downside of Episode 2 is that the puzzles are considerably worse. One of the first major challenges is proving your powers to Chloe, which is done with a memory game. Chloe shows you everything in her pockets, and you rewind time and have to mention every single detail of every single item in her pockets. Mess up even the slightest bit though, and you'll be rewinding time to try all over again. A puzzle like this isn't just pointless. It's not just lazy. It's actually detrimental to the story itself. It takes away from the feeling of power we get by having time travel abilities, and instead just makes it feel like a silly trick used to entertain friends. It really seems like everything in this episode was also recorded really out of order. The voice actors are just kind of all over the place. Characters will go from screaming fits to calmly talking about the weather. The most drastic example is Chloe being nearly crushed to death by this train, only to be barely saved, and immediately afterward they begin casually walking down the train tracks and joking around about how boring life is. Not a single bit of the dialogue in this entire episode has any sort of continuity. At any moment, characters can go from angry, to sad, to happy, to crying, to literally about to jump off a building. All with no point, no context, and no previous ties to the conversation. At no point can you really get invested in the pain and the hardship that Max is going through, mostly because, well, there is no pain, there is no hardship. While saving the town is so important and so many little intricacies make the town seem real, the people within it are so hollow, so fake, even the love interest, Warren, just seems like a cartoon character nerd sketched out on a piece of notebook paper. I was really craving in this episode that we learn more about the characters and find out what's the real thing going on here. What's making everybody want to live? What's making everybody's passion so passionate? But for some reason, even though it's an art school, nobody has any flavor or taste. They're all just pieces on a canvas. The main highlight of this episode, though, is really seeing Max struggle with her powers. Nosebleeds and headaches don't stop her need to help friends at any cost. One particularly stellar scene has her stopping time completely altogether with sheer force of will, all to get across campus in time and help a friend. I really want to like this town, to like this world, to understand and care about what's going on, but it's just missing too many pieces. Wandering around junkyards, texting friends, snapping random photos, all seem to try and add to the experience, but they're already becoming forced staples of a hollow world. So we've heard some good and we've heard some bad, but let's head over to the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Life is Strange Episode 2 Out of Time a 6 out of 10. Bad puzzles and terribly forced voice acting really hold back a story that is supposed to be growing but is instead shrinking. At the core of it though, it does seem like Max is determined to save this game even if it kills her, so hopefully in episode 3 we'll find a little more passion, a little more color to this picture. 
Thanks so much for watching guys, this has been Dreamcast Guy with another review. If you like my game reviews, feel free to subscribe, give it a like, and do me a big favor and keep dreaming. Also leave me an awesome comment, I love all the awesome comments I get. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.